face. <laughs> and then I expect to see your faces because I don't know you. So oh, it's not from that's that shop. Right. Don't, don't it's worry. okay. It's not from the shop. Oh dear. That didn't sound too promising. And now it's a case of truthfully whether to give her an honest, honest reaction when she comes downstairs or be a good mum and try and make the best of what I'm going to see. I don't know. It's the day before the wedding and Fern's waiting for the dress she's been told will be delivered to her mum's house. Do you think it's coming from that dress shop? The anxious bride has convinced herself that Ryan must have bought her dress from her favourite local boutique. She's got two or three dresses in her head that she tried on and she's thinking that he's bound to pick one of them, I think. But that may not be the case. The dress is already two hours late and it's starting to dawn on Fern that her man might just have bought it elsewhere. I've got a sick feeling in my stomach. If the dress is a disaster and I really hated it, no, I don't think I'd wear it. The one thing that I do want is for me to walk out this house tomorrow morning feeling confident in the way I look. All eyes are going to be on me. I don't know, it could be a disaster. The wait is finally over. I don't recognise your two faces. Shop. Oh dear. That didn't sound too promising. And now it's a case of truthfully whether to give her an honest, honest reaction when she comes downstairs or be a good mum and try and make the best of what I'm going to see. I don't know. I don't know what's the best thing to do, really. That I really didn't. I thought it had gotten something slim fitted. Ugh. I might look really sad, but I'm actually so just relieved. I just want to try it on. Spin for me, spin. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, fabulous. Mm. Stunning. You were crying. Oh, yeah. Hysterically. Yeah. Because I couldn't see the bag. I thought I was going to see a sign on the woman. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. oh. That's beautiful. What were the that hysteria? I could hear you. I oh, thought, oh, my God. God. You've got something you didn't like. I'm shocked that he's picked it. Why? Because I just didn't think he would. Yeah. I didn't think he'd go for this. I thought it'd either be mega over the top with loads going on and all big, nice. or simple. Do you love it then? Absolutely yeah. love it. Stunning. Perfect. I love it. I love Fantastic. the bit of Swarovski going on, and yeah. I did not have this dress in my head, honestly. And that's why I was so relieved. <laughs> I didn't think that sounded like relief. She didn't like it. That's fantastic. I can't believe it's picked out. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Well done, Ryan. Tomorrow, the boys have a Hollywood extravaganza to pull off. But for Matt, it's the future of Team Gorgeous that's at stake. And that day, he loves Fern to bits. And I love him to bits, he loves me to bits, Fern likes me, and goes far as loves me, but I don't think Fern would ever stop him seeing me, no, no way, and he'll always want to see me, but this is his time, isn't it? I've got to let him go. Night man. Night groom. Get off of my toes.
It's the morning of the wedding. And the bride is still in the dark about Ryan's plans for her hair. Shelley has had enough of waiting. Hello. Just one thing. Is, is Finn getting a hairdresser this morning? No. No? We're not organised one. Uh, all right. See you in a bit. Bye. No point kicking off. I'm not kicking off at him. Uh, it's done. We need to crack on. Whatever. Just hope it goes all right. I hope it's not a disaster or anything. It'll do, it's fine. I think I've made a pretty good job, actually. It'll do. It's not like what I had done at the hairdressers, obviously, but, yeah, well done, Mum. It's OK. It'll do. 